Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today, instead of a progression video, even though we are actually level 99, we're going to focus on talking about the League mechanic and kind of what I'm doing with it. I never really make a video this early on about the League mechanic because genuinely, I don't really, like, I like them, but I don't interact too much with them. This one, on the other hand, I love it. I'm a huge fan of the current League mechanic. I'd probably say one of the biggest things about it that I like is it allows me to map blast and then stop at my choosing and spend my given resources rather than constantly feel like I have to dump something or put it in my stash or etc. It's kind of like a seamless experience. So that being said, I just woke up in the morning. I haven't checked anything in my town yet. And I have to say one of the things I'm so excited for is Path of Exile feels kind of like some previous games to me now, like say... Uh, Hero Siege or Raven Dawn, things like with an auction house where you list your shit and then you come back the next morning and you're excited to wake up and log in and see what you've received, right? The prime example, uh, not part of the auction house at all, but all of my stuff went through here, so I didn't even open that. That's actually amazing. This is good because I use this currency for Harbinger for my map blasting. So I'm just going to go dump all of that in. Amazing. Then we're going to go to King's March. Also, I like to call it King's Landing. Now over here I've done quite a bit, uh, so we have a maxed smelter. I haven't done too much with the runesmithing because I always need the rune, but the only thing I can really get on my weapon is frenzy, so. Oh, good. All right, over here we have some shipping boys. Um, I do believe that, oh no, they didn't finish? I ran out of gold? Oh no, I forgot about the funding, dude. No, dude, no, dude. I must have been too tired yesterday and I forgot to add funds. That's uh, that's unlucky. That's okay, though. We'll fix that. So then, over here at least, um, we do have a mapping device. And the mapping device is quite nice. So I can show you guys what we've pulled from the mapping. Fortunately, I cannot show you the ships. That would have been really nice to show you the ships, but... I did make a mistake here because, you know, half asleep when I did this. So over here, I can show you my maps. So let's go ahead and see what we have claimed. Now, the thing is about setting all of this up, right? I know a lot of people are struggling with gold, uh, especially in this current league. Some recommendations I can give for gold is I'll can go blasting of maps. So what I mean by this is like, instead of focusing on doing a bunch of league mechanics, juicing with scarabs and just going, there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like Alcan Go is more consistent for gold generation. In general, when you're Alcan Go, you're focusing less on looting and just going through the map as fast as possible. Something I've decided to opt out for this go around that I don't normally is I've actually taken almost full map sustain uh, on my Atlas trees. Um, now, of course, you know, I don't have the links for my exact one in my chat. I do under the Atlas command, but I favored map sustain because A, you make money on T17 map drops, but B, Excess maps just go towards the map runners, which are basically these guys right here. Um, and I've kind of been liking it. You know, I, I really enjoy a nice shift of kind of the way you generate currency. I think it's always fun to see different things that kind of pop up from these. So very big fan of this current league mechanic. <clears throat> I'll come back to the maps. I'm just going to go ahead and continue kind of show you guys what else I'm doing. Um, also, a lot of people might be wondering why I'm not just like pressing the V button to interact. Uh, my town's actually bugged. I'm sure other people have this issue where if I talk to this guy, all I have is visit King's March. And even if I press the button to interact with my town, it actually doesn't do anything at all. So the, <laughs> the only way I can actually do that is clicking this town map, which is kind of a pain in the ass because it's in the middle of nowhere. To just show you guys what we're working with. Um, is there a way? I actually don't even know how this fucking UI works. Yeah, I'm just going to go to each one because it's easier for me to show you guys what I have. So this one I showed you is max, and you can see the guys we have here. Going from rank 10, the lowest is rank 6. Do -do -do. Disenchanting over here. We currently have, I need to fix this, but we have a 9 going to rank 7. The mapping guys are the ones I'm currently working on the most. Uh, we currently have rank 10 down to rank 7. I do have a second mapping device, but I haven't really gotten the ability to use it yet because I'm just so busy working on that. Um, over here, I've got the miner set, but they're full because we haven't played yet today. We just woke up. And then over here, I've got pumpkins. I think that's wheat. There's like wheat, corn, and then whatever these are. This is like the highest tier resource. And here, I'm just dumping like farming 10, 10, and then 7. Because these, these are raw currency when you send them out on boats. So that was the goal was for me to show that for you guys, but I fucked up. 
over here this one is maxed oh yeah that's pretty much about it so for now we're just going to go through the mapping loot and see if we get anything good uh a tip for the mappers personally they're kind of like end game i genuinely feel like the mappers are not very good when you first unlock them and then as you continue to play oh what is that e2 suppression t4 life e2 hybrid life i wonder that might actually sell we're gonna we're gonna see if we can sell that one most of the stuff i don't usually look at but occasionally if something catches my eye i just peek it Back to the disenchanting. I think this is going to be a really, really fun league for me and SSF personally. I cannot wait. All right, going through the... Ooh. Okay, they're actually starting to bring back some scarabs and stuff now. See, I really like this. Yeah. Is that a gold rim? Do, 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 do. Okay, let's just trash that. What else do we have here? For that roll. That's not bad. I mean, that's like okay, actually, but nah. What have you got? I'm on it. Trash that. Come on, let me see it. Oh, I mean, that's an Exalt Orb. That's pretty nice. Exalt and a Null. I know in Trade League that's not nice, but for me, what I care about more, I know this might seem weird, is more about the potential of finding items. So I don't, like, look at it and go, wow, that's garbage. I look at it and see the, <clears throat> the classification of how rare an item is. And if we find that item, that gives me an idea of, you know, what could have been there, which helps me understand kind of how lucrative they are, if that, if that makes any sense at all. Also, a huge thing about these mappers is you'll notice there's a crazy difference between 100% and, like, say, 80%. It's, like, five times map bonus difference. So getting 100% is definitely very, very, very advisable. Obviously, you cannot guarantee 100%. Like, if I hover over this, you can see <clears throat> expected map completion on this one is actually 100%. Uh, I think that's primarily because it's blue. Um, but yeah, getting them as close to 100% as possible is definitely the best thing, in my opinion, that you can do. Um, and in my opinion, you just kind of ignore them a little bit at the beginning and you focus on upgrading your town. And I think mining is probably the best thing to max first. It's only because when you max mining, you get the ability to um, uh, generate extra gold when you're mapping. Welcome. Hail. Let's make some that is pretty much it. Overall, pretty happy. I mean, that's not bad either. Like, T1 life with, like, T2 in, T3 decks, and all attributes. That's a keeper. I'll take that. Just take the rest of this here for this. And I don't need any of that. I mean, these aren't even that bad, but I don't feel like dealing with them. Hi -oh. Onward and upward, as Danig might say. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough Tetris for me. Okay, that's pretty much going to be about it. Let me know what you guys think of the League Mechanic in the comments below. I'm really enjoying it. Like I said, I'll have some more updates. Maybe some proper boat shipments. Uh, these are supposed to be the highlight here. These are literally like, I think, multi-million boats. I'm pretty sure. I don't know how to check it. Oh, okay, now they're back up to like 40 minutes. There were four hours before, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'll catch you guys all later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day, but Sundays at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all tomorrow.